So welcome. That was a nice piece of work oh, back there thank you, Beth Lee. Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. So yeah, if you talk to Ben Lee, you can rewatch any cutscene we've watched. Our That's our next start. mission. Um, we got something here with Murray. But with that, uh, let's just get started right into the first mission. This will not be 100% because this game's 100% is a little the road trip gave me the crazy. I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his Yar har fiddle dee dee. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the fiendish five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Ah, we are in the land of the sea dog. Sly Cooper in the Tide of Terror. I say I do like about this game the fact that all the different open uh, levels have like this stylistic opening. Uh, uh, one thing to note, every coin actually gets a different appearance every area hey, you're in. Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, You're going to get sick of hearing space. that. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. You will, by the end of this game, get sick of hearing, uh, press the circle button. So one thing to talk about, in every level there's going to be a bunch of hidden clue bottles. These are what are required for 100%. And I've had moments where I've gone 19 and I've missed one. Just make sure there's none over here. Oh, well. This game's controls are slippery. I should, it should save all my bottles, but, oh, right, this game has a live, I forgot, this is the only, there's a lot of stuff in this game that is going to be, you know, coming back to me as we go, because, well, it's been a while, and I'll be honest, when it comes to Sly Cooper, I am much more of a fan of Band of Thieves. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Yeah, as Bentley said, if you get caught by a spotlight, it will inst you will instantly die. If you hear those step sound effects, that mean you that means you are sneaking. looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's 
the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would I know, we're off of the coast of Wales. It only rains in this region. Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> The, may I present the reason why I was so nervous about streaming this game? I'm not good at stealth to begin with, and then there's the fact that, um... Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to talk to Bentley again. The fact that Sly only has one HP... Not exactly the best of introductions for Sly. I will say, like, in all these old era games I'm playing right now, whether it be Sly, Ratchet and Clank, or Kingdom Hearts, these first games are always the ones that throw me off. Which let me guess, jump in circle. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. If I remember correctly, this is the era. This with this Sly game in particular, because coins would serve a different role. Oh, fuck. How far back? Shit! Yeah, coins would serve a different role in the later games. Um, In Sly 2 and 3, coins are used to buy new gadgets. But in Sly 1, I believe for every 100 coins, you get an extra life. There is a way to be able to take more hits, but uh, they haven't introduced it yet. I wish, I really wish they would introduce it when you start a level. Remember, you can grab onto a hook by jumping near it and pressing the circle button. Yeah, it would help if I was actually getting enough height, Bentley. Yeah, of the PS2 era games we've been playing, the only one that's like first game with controls that haven't driven me, oh well, you no, know, with mechanics that haven't driven me up a wall and, like, and going insane has been Jack. Jack played well from beginning to end. Ratchet and Clank, ooh, it was just that first game. Ugh. Yeah, I've already missed a bunch of bottles, and I'm not going back. Because, yeah, this is a safe where you would turn in those 20 bottles. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. I'll collect as many as I can find, but, like, when it comes to Sly 2 and Sly 4, I will collect all the bottles, because they're, the bottles aren't as bullshit. Because here in Sly 1, the 20 bottles are a thing in every level. But in Sly 2 and two and 4, the bottles are exclusive to chapters. Like there's uh, a set of bottles for each chapter. Just, just way too much.